Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and we're here at Pete's Air Gun Farm and I'm here to show you the uh, Kraal Puncher which is um, Kraal's first venture into the world of pneumatic air guns. Um, these rifles come in at around 499, 499 pounds uh, but for, with that you're getting um, one of their magazine cassettes and also um, open sights which you can fix onto the gun as well uh, which is quite a neat uh, feature and obviously quite unusual with pneumatics these days. Uh, obviously most people to exploit the accuracy will be sticking to fitting a scope to the gun but it's just a nice touch that they're included and um, quite well made actually. So here we are, it's a crown puncher, um, very, uh, something that uh, struck me with this, it's very compact and a very nice uh, comfortable stock to handle. Um, it's not adjustable but it just fitted me from the start, got a nice butt pad, nicely defined cheek piece, everything's a bit of a, a mini Schnabel fore end at the front and a fairly drop down sort of target style grip and in use it just feels really comfortable, um, it's been a very nice gun to shoot and test. Um, with these, as I say, you've got there. The only the slight stumbling block I found was just that the um, the magazines are just a little bit fiddly to um, load the, compared to some other designs. But once you've um, familiarised yourself, it's fine. But um, you've got a sort of central uh, spindle there, and you need to sort of set that, and check that the magazine's in the right um, point, and then fill every chamber in turn as you snap it round, and. Um, then you're ready to go for multi-shot use. Um, these guns are available in 17722 and 25 calibre as well. Um, but what, quite an unusual feature is that you've got a, a power adjuster uh, button on here as well, and um, that does allow the uh, velocity to be varied, which is um, quite neat. On the reverse side, you've actually got some markings, so you can see at what point you set. The, um, the, the power there. Obviously it's all within the UK legal limit but you can bring it right down which gives you more shots and in a confined space can be perfectly adequate for um, safe target shooting. Um, you've got a two stage trigger here, um, a manual safety catch at the back and um, conventional barrel over cylinder configuration. Uh, if you move to the front you've got a rotating um, valve cover there and that will receive a probe style um, adapter from your airline. So obviously with these, as any pneumatic, you've got the additional cost of um, your air supply so that's going to be a dedicated pump or diver's bottle. Um, it's all quite neat, you've got a um, the barrel running through a barrel support there at the front um, and a very slick side lever action. I'll just show you the action on here. So you pull that lever back Pull that back, you've cut, then cut the hammer, set the trigger, and then you take your magazine once you've um, primed it with pellets and you'll load that from the left side. So I'm masking that slightly. Slide that through into place, you feel it snap into place, and then return your side lever. Once that's in, it's um, sort of self centered the magazine and everything's ready to go um, for a series of shots. I'll just show you the slickness of the action there, so we're cocking the action, that's indexing the magazine. So it really is that quick, as fast as you can cycle the action. Um, with these, you get, um, obviously you'll get you get at least sort of 70 shots from a charge it will vary slightly gun to gun and obviously if you set the power lower uh, you'll get a lot more shots I've seen some tested and getting a lot more shots but on test I sort of got in the region of uh, 70 um, but for sort of general purpose target shooting it's a very neat um, quite impressive little rifle so that's the Crowl Puncher